Thank you. I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Pistol Diaz! Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him. Little get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Kid Dynamite. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Kid Dynamite. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Kid Dynamite's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Halfway through this round, sending out the power shot. It was a straight left hand. Ten seconds remaining in this round. End of round one. Kid Dynamite's proving that he's here to fight. Just look at the punch stats. Pistol's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Not able to land the headshot. Double jab upstairs. Pistol's left now getting into the mix. A stinging uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Use the ring. Use the ring. He missed with that headshot. And a strong offensive showcase. The combination by Kid Dynamite. Pistol's jab lands well. They both decide to bring it. Pistols combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Good right hand. There you go. Pistols really in position to control things in this fight. If he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good solid jab. You know, that jab is so basic, so simple, but as you can see, so very effective for him early on in this fight. Yeah, well, he's telling his opponent, you're not coming onto my property. You know, I have a dog here, and this dog bites. Kid Dynamite's well off the mark that time. Pistol's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. All right. We need to pull ahead here. This... And round number three is underway. Give me the block. Give me running. 
little head hunting with the left. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Pistols putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. A solid left hand by Kid Dynamite. Scored well up top. Kid Dynamite showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Get after him. Pistol's right hand scores well. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Pistol's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Targeting that head with the combination punching. A flush hook scores well for him. Body shot lands. It was the right. Really on the mark with that overhand left. Left to the body. Pistol's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Two snapping jabs by Kid Dynamite. Solid left hand to the head. Good biting, snapping shot by Kid Dynamite. Three minutes gone by in this round. Kid Dynamite's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Good defensive skill. Pistol's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him. Oh, what a shot upstairs. He's gonna have to grab on. Pistols putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Landing a two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Inside, inside. What? What? Scores up top with a left. Kid Dynamite swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Pistol showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good. Crisp combos. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by Diaz. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. We count down the final moments of this round. Pistols coming off another close and competitive round, but still, Teddy, I think he's slightly down on the scorecards. Yeah, the key is not what you think, Joe, even though I love what you think, but the key is what he thinks. He has to know that. It's very important for him, and a lot of times, a guy under pressure wants to know what he wants to know. He wants to maybe think in his mind that he's ahead, and it's important that somebody gives him the news. What an impact that left hand just made by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's very much being tested here, even though he's likely up on the scorecards. He's getting a real test here. Yeah, Joe, a test that will serve him in the future. If he goes on to win this fight, which I think he will, he's going to take what he learned here today, what he gained here today, and it's going to serve him as he moves forward in his career. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Good step back counterpunch there. 
An accurate left by Kid Dynamite. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Off target with that hook. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Kid Dynamite. That's a well-scored left hand by Kid Dynamite. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Little head knocking with that right hand. Kid Dynamite's got to deal with a cut and cheek. A crushing two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Pistol's making up some ground now. I mean, what we just saw out of that last round, I think it closed the gap. He's losing on the scorecards, but I think he closed the gap a bit. Yeah, it's a good start for him. You know, one thing is you know that he understands. A lot of times the fight ends and a guy puts his hands up and you say, what is he putting his hands up for? And he thinks he won the fight because he wasn't being honest with himself. He's being honest with himself. He knows where he's at. the hook that time using those feet using that jab on the outside well and you know what he used his head early in the fight because he went inside which is really where he's set up for and he got his opponent's respect and now that respect is paying off because he's being allowed to stay on the outside and control things there's that southpaw jab in the left hand Kid Dynamite's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Kid Dynamite. Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. A solid, true uppercut by Kid Dynamite. And our first glimpse of blood from his nose. Nice work, the left hand to the head. A well-targeted hook to the head by Kid Dynamite. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the six. Solid shot, the overhand left. And this round comes to an end. Kid Dynamite's cup man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avatine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Listen, you need to move your head more side to side. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Pistol's feeling the effects now of that hook. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Kid Dynamite. Well, he told us he liked the infighting, and he's getting right to it. You know, he's getting a little bit of help, too. He doesn't really have to go okay. climbing a mountain. His opponent's coming to him, setting him up really well. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Diaz. Pistol's getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Good flush shot upstairs. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Flush right hand to the head. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Scored well up top. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Diaz. Push, push. Comes right back at him with a left hand. 
great work offensively landing that combination by Kid Dynamite. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Pistols left, landing well. Good flush shot upstairs. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Pistol. A barrage of punches now. Finish with the Well targeted right hand by Kid Dynamite. Took a shot, now he gets bombs away by Kid Dynamite. Pistols found that groove. All of a sudden, Teddy, he found the answer. Yeah, well, what happened is he made a little adjustment a couple rounds ago. He started countering. Teddy's scorecard at the beginning of round number eight. Kid Dynamite's the lead, but he's taken some damage, Teddy. Yeah, it's been a good day for him, but there's been some clouds, and it's raining a little bit. He just had to worry that it doesn't start raining harder. Pistols just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Nice strike after catching one by Diaz. It's over that hook upstairs. A little one-two. Jab followed by the cross. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Good plus shot by Kid Dynamite. Solid hook upstairs. Targeting that straight left hand. Pistols on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Strong left by Kid Dynamite. Big shot there. And he goes down. It was a magnificent combination that put him down. Now he has to get up. Get up, seven, six, seven, eight. Stand up, stand up. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Pistol's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Kid Dynamite. Hit the body. Pistol's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. That was another great round by him. I mean, what more can you say? He's landing the cleaner punches. He's being the boss. He's doing the job. He's about to become the winner. The combo lands upstairs. Kid Dynamite's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Halfway through the ninth round. Very nice work with the double jab up top. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Kid Dynamite. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Kid Dynamite's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. 
Pistols tagged by that powerful hook. Kid Dynamite's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? And we come to the end of the round. Uh, this is a bloodbath. This is just swollen eyes and cuts. This is Gaddy Ward 1. This is Castillo Corrales. This is great stuff. Yeah, Colin Basilio, Sugar Ray Robinson. Basilio had one eye closed. A little head hunting with the right. Pistol's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek pool defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed, so he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's gonna come back. And a good counter by Kid Dynamite. Look at that! And for the second time tonight, he goes down. Two, three, four. Come on! Five, get on your feet! Six. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Like he I got hit there. right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Kid Dynamite. Something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. That's a good left hand by Kid Dynamite. From start to finish, it was utter domination. This was an easy one to score, Joe. As for that expected outcome, we send it up to the ring to hear from the judges. So a unanimous decision win by Kid Dynamite. That's the way we saw it all night long. The judges agree. It was hard to see it any other way. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.